before we get into this video, I want you to take a moment to think about all of the time management tips you've been given by friends or found on the internet. Write to-do lists, avoid multitasking, have a morning routine, and just stop procrastinating, dang it. They all mean well, but what do you do when all of that time management advice just doesn't work for you. Do you keep searching for hacks online or take advice from other people? You can, and you can keep searching for that perfect time management strategy if you wanna repeat that cycle over and over again. But if you wanna manage your time better right now, I can help. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my new videos. Let's get this out of the way first. Time management is not a one size fits all situation. One strategy won't work for everyone. And why should it? We all have different careers, hobbies, families, obligations, not to mention different personalities and routines. If you caught my video about becoming a morning person, for example, you know that we all fall into one of three categories, early birds or morning people, night owls, the night people, and third birds who are right in the middle. Whichever bird you are impacts when you feel most energized and alert. So why would a time management hack that requires you to be a morning person work for you if you're a night owl? It might, but it's also probably gonna take a lot of time to get there and stress along the way. My point is traditional time management methods may be simple and they may work for many people, but they won't work for everyone. And if one of them doesn't work for you, it's not your fault. Here's another example of a time management strategy that may not work for you. Time blocking. It's one of my favorite basic time management methods. With this method, you simply create blocks of time on your schedule for certain tasks on your to-do list. Then you choose the three most important things you need to do that day so you don't get overwhelmed. Easy, right? But what if you can't pick just three? What if you agonize over choosing your top three and then you get even less done? You just might be facing analysis paralysis. If you have a hard time making decisions or making too many decisions overwhelms you, some time management hacks just aren't the right fit. Other things can impact your time management attempts too. Stuff that's simply happening in your life, like school schedules or daycare for your kiddos, your commitments outside of work, spending time with your partner or friends or your family, and making time for yourself. When you're juggling all of these different things in your life, it's easy to say, I'll work this schedule and block out the rest of my time for my to-do list. Oh, and I'll wake up early to get everything done. In our dreams, right? Things happen. Things we don't plan for either, like illness or bad weather, or just plain old bad days where you can't shake your grumpy mood. So what do you do if schedules, routines, tools, or hacks just aren't cutting it? Is there another time management strategy you can try? Well, I encourage you to talk with others who struggle with the same things. That's right. This isn't really a time management hack or a tip or a strategy. It's a simple piece of advice that goes a long way for many people. As a time management coach, I can't tell you how often I've seen people start to feel better and manage their time better after getting support from other people. And it doesn't have to be support from a time management coach like me. You can find a friend in a similar situation as you, a loved one, a work colleague, or maybe even a fellow student in an online course you're taking. You might even get to know someone in your gym class or your mom group better by bonding over your time management challenges. Talking to someone who understands really is powerful. You get support, you get to talk it out, and most importantly, you're reminded that you're not alone and you can find a solution that works for you. Speaking of a solution, I created one myself that really does work for me, for my clients, and for others just like you. It's called the heart method, and I actually go into detail about it in another video. In a nutshell, the heart method approaches time management based on your values and your goals. You create sustainable habits and routines 
based on what matters most to you. That is how you manage your time when traditional time management tips and advice just aren't working. You dig deep into your values, your goals, and your priorities. Then build your time management strategy based on that. One more reminder if your time management efforts aren't working, my friend. Time management is not one size fits all. If you've chosen the best method out there, given it your best shot, and stuck it out for a good long time, you may need to look elsewhere for a time management method that'll really work for you. You have to look beyond your calendar or the pages of your planner. Take an honest look at why you want to be better with your time and what you wanna do with the time that you free up for yourself. When you get clear on why you're doing all this, it'll be easier to find a time management strategy that you can adapt to your needs. For that time management method and to find support from others, like I mentioned earlier in this video, I invite you to join the It's About Time Academy. It's a mix of group coaching and an exclusive community that I launched earlier this year. When you join, you'll learn how to set yourself up for success, make better decisions about how you spend your time, and how to live with more intention each and every day. I've linked the It's About Time Academy down in the description below. You can join us by clicking that link and I would love to welcome you in. And hey, if you have any questions about different time management strategies or advice that you've tried in the past, or if you have questions about the Academy, feel free to pop them down in the comments. I am happy to help you out. All right, thanks for watching. Be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.